Hi and welcome to our channel, Josh and Sabrina Take On The World. Today we're doing another box video that Sabrina had received recently. So what, uh, what box do we have this time? The Balance Snack Box. The Balance Snack Box. I got okay. it for my birthday. All right. Who gave you that? My sister. Oh. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so. So what were some of the things that we got in the balanced box? I, I guess... You get five five sample size of healthy snacks. Okay. For, I believe it was $30. We had to look it up because I obviously didn't pay for it. All right. So around $30 Canadian, mm -hmm. five healthy snacks. So what's the first snack that uh, we tried? We tried the air cheese. Air cheese. So it's puffed cheese. It has 16 grams of protein per pack and it's 100% cheese. They have different flavors but this one is cheddar. So they're just like little... Crunchy cheese bites and it says that they're keto friendly. Here. Oh. Okay. I actually like these. Mm -hmm. I know you weren't a huge fan of them but... They kind of taste like feet to me but like good feet. I think they were, that was a thing. I'm not sure if there's such a thing as good tasting feet, but yeah, I, I don't uh, I don't mind these. I'd probably give them about a eight a, eight out of ten. One package contains two hundred and thirty calories, so I give them a three out of ten. Zero sugar, sixteen grams of protein, and uh, the one thing that we noticed with all the products that came in this box is that they were all. Uh, actual sizes so they weren't like sample or trial sizes so you can actually buy the air cheese I found it on the Amazon dot com or dot CA sorry here in Canada and it was uh, nine dollars and forty nine cents got you two packages of the air cheese so that worked out to be I think it was around four dollars and seventy six cents uh, per per bag so it says that these are an excellent source of protein, good source of calcium, no artificial preservatives, 100% natural cheese, gluten-free. So. so my question is, why can't you just eat regular cheese? Well, I suppose that you could, but <laughs> because these are dried, you can just throw this in your workout bag or your snacks for work. You don't have to worry about them being refrigerated because it's just mm -hmm. dried up I cheese. Suppose. So that's probably that's the, the, the big big plus with that. So I, I like them. I'd probably, like I say, give them an 8 out of 10. Sabrina didn't really like them. but uh. I think it's just the flavor. I like everything else. They, they have like jalapeno in that I've seen. So maybe I'll try a different flavor. I'll probably like it better than the cheddar. All right. So the next thing is the Eden Spicy Pumpkin Seeds. These are low in sodium and organic. They are also made out of organic spices, it said on the packaging as well. And they come from popcorn. <laughs> okay. I think they're good. Yeah, I quite like these. This is something that I would definitely buy again. I do like pumpkin seeds to begin with. And you don't have to dishell them because they're all... Yeah, they're all ready. The little pumpkin, teeny tiny seed there, if you can see it. So, I like the spice that's on them. They've got a little bit of heat, heat to them, a little spicy. spicy. pumpkin. It doesn't really say, like, what flavor. It's spicy. No, but as you kind of eat more of them, you can feel it building the spice. Like oh, I'm saying there's not like a flavor like jalapeno, it's just right. it's spicy. It's spicy. So, it says here that these are dry roasted pumpkin seeds, tamari soy sauce is in there, I guess, garlic, cayenne pepper, and uh, that's, that's really it. So, I'd say that the spices are organic and the seeds themselves are organic. I, Again, this is a full full size bag, so you get 113 grams in the uh, in the bag. And these guys here were four dollars and nineteen cents Canadian on Amazon per bag. So it's not bad. I would definitely get these again. Uh, what does it say here? It says uh, a third of a cup, so 40 grams. So you're getting 113 grams. So it says one serving is a third of a cup, 40 grams. You're getting 240 calories. 
19 grams of fat, zero cholesterol, 90 milligrams of sodium, so a fair amount of uh, salt in, in there. Uh, carbs, seven grams of carbs, zero sugars, six from fiber. Good source of iron and a good source of zinc. So I, uh, I really like these ones. Eight out of 10. <laughs> I, I give these a 10 out of 10. I would definitely, uh, I would definitely snack on them again for sure. I'm gonna keep that work. So. All right. And the next thing is the pure mint. And these ones are mojito flavor. I thought it said mojo. Yesterday. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's mojito, not not mojo. And a mojito is a drink, I guess. I've never had a mojito. Yeah, drink. you can have a, a mojito. I'm not, I'm not going to put one of these in my mouth right now, but uh, um, yeah, I, I like these. They have that, uh, what, what's that, that sugar that they're sweetened with, xylitol, uh, which I think in one of our past reviews that we did, something was made of xylitol, one of the other mints, and xylitol I think could be pretty harmful to pets, so this is not something that you want to maybe drop on the floor and have your, your dog eat to uh, eat these. But uh, I find it's like a, uh, in a lot of keto foods because it's a substitute yeah. for sugar. Yeah, right? yeah, hundred percent xylitol. It says they're gluten free, vegan, non GMO, made in Switzerland, and they are nut and peanut free. Uh, if you go on Amazon.ca, it says that these are the number one in candied uh, mints. Not necessarily this flavor, but this particular brand. I had seen this brand on the shelf at the local grocery store, but. I don't typically buy mint, so I had never ever actually tried them, but I had seen these before. They're pretty good. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. Uh, they sell, uh, well, there's 20, 20 pieces in a bag, and you get uh, 12 uh, bags. Bit expensive, I guess, if you're buying it that way. And it worked out to be $33.48 uh, Canadian for 12 bags. They're only uh, $2.79 uh, per, per bag, so not too bad, but e e in the grocery store, I guess you could just buy one bag, but if you're buying it online, you can't really just buy one and have it, uh, have it shipped, but uh, they're not, uh, not, too, not too bad. I would say like a 6 out of 10. I wasn't overly impressed. It, yeah. I, maybe I, it was the flavor. I didn't really I like, the, like the, the, mojo the, uh, the mojito <laughs> mint uh, flavor, uh, but... Uh, Maybe try some of their other flavors, maybe, maybe pretty good. So what's next? <sighs> so next we have Dick's Duffs, which is, to me, a really weird name. Dick's Duffs. Oh. Organic jerky and Dijon mustard. It's actually Dick Duffs, not Dick's <laughs> Duffs. So <laughs> there's probably a guy I always, named Dick I Duff. I just read everything too fast. Yeah. Okay, more comments. Oh, don't want that. So lots of little teeny tiny cut up pieces of, uh, of jerky. That's kind of one bummer I think with this. I kind of like when I get beef jerky to have maybe a little bit of a, a bigger no, I, I a ate, bigger bigger yeah. piece. I think she's picked I out maybe all the them, yeah. bigger piece and left the little ones. As far as beef jerky goes, it's pretty good. I would give it like a 9 out of 10. I think it's really good. Good flavor. The Dijon mustard. On Amazon.ca, Dijon mustard looked like it was sold out. You couldn't get it, but uh, this has got <clears throat> very good reviews on Amazon.ca. And uh, these are again a full size bag uh, that came in this particular uh, particular box, uh, 50 uh, 50 grams. Um, this is always pretty expensive whenever you buy uh, beef beef jerky. So this one was. Uh, Ten ninety nine per bag, and uh, you got fifty grams, as I said, with uh, with that, and you were buying them online, individual um, individual bags, so you didn't have to buy twelve or thirteen of them to uh, to get them. And it says here that for nutrition, uh, six pieces is thirty grams. You're getting about ninety calories. 2 grams of fat, 45 milligrams of cholesterol, 420 milligrams of sodium. There's a bigger piece. So if you're trying to cut salt out of your diet, you probably don't want to be eating these because six little pieces of this, you're getting 420 milligrams of sodium. 
which they say on here is 18% of your recommended daily uh, daily intake. So pretty uh, pretty high on that. Read the history of Dick Stuff. Uh, it says in 1989, Dick Duff started making small batches of jerky in his home kitchen. His friends and neighbors couldn't get enough. Now you can experience Dick's jerky that wowed <laughs> local fans for a quarter century. So sorry. So Dick uh, is a person. Sorry, Dick. It's not Dick's. <laughs> It's Dick, Dick Duff's. So, and it says that they're certified organic. And they're in Toronto. Uh, prepared for in Toronto. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So there you go. It was my favorite thing in the whole box. Yep. Most expensive thing out of the whole box as well at ten ten ninety nine uh, for for that. So, what do we have next in the box? We have the smart sweets. Um, fish, and I ate them all. I don't know if you got a chance to I, try them. I did get to try one or two of these. I've had these before, <clears throat> but in the gummies, and they're really good, but they're kind of pricey. Yeah, these these definitely tasted like Swedish berry fish. Yeah, uh, you can't even really tell that they're, they're so low in sugar. They're plant-based. Um, so the ingredient here, it says it's a soluble fiber from tapioca, pectin, natural fruit flavor. So... Uh, vegetable juice for color, coconut oil, stevia leaf extract. Uh, the only thing that's a little odd on here, but I guess that's an ingredient. There's a carnauba wax in them. I uh, I tend to put carnauba wax on the car when I'm waxing the <laughs> car. So, uh, but it is in in here. It's kind of um, scary. <clears throat> yeah. So any anyways, it says that they are gluten free non-GMO and free from sugar alcohols. Um, but you could perhaps wax your car with them if you rub them all over the car. So they have three grams of sugar per bag. Yes, so that's right. It says kick sugar, but technically there's still sugar in it. Yeah, there's still sugar in it, but the bag is, what's the bag? 50 grams. So you're getting three grams of sugar for eating up the, the whole entire bag. Now these guys, Again, you don't just tend to buy one on Amazon. You gotta buy a bunch of them. I don't know whether you can find them in your local grocery they store. Are, I bought them. They okay. have the gummy bears and the fish in the grocery right. store, and they have the gummy bears with like the um, the, the gummy bears with the stuff on top of them. Makes them like sour, like oh, sour gummies. Yeah. I see. So, anyways, on Amazon.ca, they are forty-seven eighty-eight for twelve of them. That works out crazy. to be. Three dollars and ninety nine cents per bag. It's so what they are in the I guess if you do like it and you want a snack to have around and you don't mind spending the money up front, maybe it's not a bad way to uh, to order them uh, like like that. It's obviously better than eating regular candy. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just not sure what the carnival wax is in there for, but uh, wax your insides, I guess, as they go through your your system. <clears throat> so we have. We have two more things. I guess, what's the next one here that we've got? These are the Hungry Buddha Bars. And they are a, a keto bar. The one that they sent me was um, coconut. And I really liked it. I would give it like a 10 out of 10. I would definitely buy them. I don't think you had a chance to try them. I did not get a chance to try these. It two, came with two. And two I of them. Both. And they both got eaten by, by Sabrina. So well, it was my birthday gift. Um, I, I, I suppose <laughs> it does say on here that they are nut free, gluten free, and it looks like this company might uh, give back 1% of their proceeds to the uh, planet. It says here that you're getting 180 calories per 140 gram bar. Uh, what are we getting here? 11 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, 12 are from fiber. Two are from sugar, nine grams of protein, 70 milligrams of, uh, of sodium. Uh, the highest uh, thing in here, uh, high in iron, 14% of your daily iron, uh, iron intake. Um, I'm not sure here it says that they have MCT oil, and that's kind of pointed out here. Uh, maybe MCT oil has some kind of... Health know. benefit, but uh, I just noticed that now. But it's in their their uh, product marketing on here. <clears throat> so it says that they're non-GMO, plant-based, and they are keto certified. 
and there was two two of these guys in the uh, in in the package. And they also gave you like uh, gift cards. Like, um, was it fifteen percent off if you order them on Amazon? So I might go and look and see how much did you say they were. These guys I haven't said yet. Uh, these guys here, you buy them in a box for twelve on Amazon.ca. And uh, you're $32.99 for a box of 12, which is works out to be roughly $2.75 per, uh, per, per bar. And then you can get 15% off, so I might order some. It would be good for, like, if you're in a pinch and you're hungry, you just have them in your purse. Or... Yeah, so I guess that's the thing. Some of the products in here came with discount promo uh, coupons, which is kind of nice. So if you did like them, you can order them. And it was the two things I really liked, the Dick Stuffs and the Hungry Buddha Bars, so... Yeah, and I, I, I quite like these. Amazon looked like they were sold out of them, so I went to the manufacturer's website, and they were also sold out of them, at least on the Canadian side. You couldn't couldn't get them, so... Maybe it's just the fish ones, because the grocery store always has the gummy bears. Could be that they're they're low on the, the uh, carnauba wax that they're putting in there, so uh, people are cleaning their cars at the end of the summer, and they can't uh, they can't get enough of the wax. Anyway, so that was that that box. Uh, oh, there was one more thing. Oh, right. We don't have the wrapper because we gave it away. It was the um, seaweed chips. Do you remember the flavor? Yeah, I, d I don't remember the flavor, but they were they were very awful. I had one, and it tasted like licking a rock at the beach. It, yeah, we, it was like a negative ten. It was absolutely disgusting. Couldn't even tell you who who they were uh, made by. That's the one thing with this box is they don't have just a general card that comes in the box that gives you a little overview of each of the, the products, which you've gotten some in the past, which tell you exactly what the contents of the box which are. I like. So we couldn't even go back and look to see what the product was, but we both did not like it. I gave it to my nephew and he just ate it up. Apparently they love it. So. Yeah, it was really bizarre seeing these, uh, what, young 10-year-old 10, 10 and his younger brother just inhaling this <laughs> seaweed. So and it was my sister's kids. So. Yeah, not sure what her sister feeds these kids to make <laughs> them want to eat seaweed all the time because we have been at her place and she's a very very good cook. Uh, so, but uh, a healthy eater. So they do live in a different city. Maybe there's something in the water down there that that makes people kind of desire seaweed. But we thought I don't mind it in sushi, but yeah. seaweed chips. It, it, they were they were really yeah they were really 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 bad. Um, but obviously, like all these products, there's clearly a market for. People them. are eating them because someone's eating them. They're being sent. Away. Not not us, but uh, so that that was the only bust item in the bag. I think. Uh, everything out, else out of everything that we got, uh, you didn't really like the air cheese. But again, mm -hmm. I I um, I like the uh, I like the air cheese. So, anyways, if uh, if you want to give that box a go, I guess it's not too too bad. I think you said your sister paid around 28 bucks for it. Mm -hmm. I added everything up that came in the box minus the seaweed chips and I think we were at around $36 for the contents of, of this particular box. So so you're really not losing money? You're it's not really, really losing money I guess on, on this box assuming that you like everything but I wouldn't say that the value of the box was exceedingly high compared to what you're actually paying for the for the box, but I think I get, the fact that you can try different things and then buy them separately is yeah. the point. And we don't know what other boxes are like each month, right? So mm -hmm. maybe next month's box will have a lot more items of, of higher higher value or that in them. But uh, it was a pretty decent uh, pretty decent box. So that's good. We hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video, and I'm sure we will have a, another box uh, to uh, review soon. Actually, I think. I have the we're, cause box. We're going to do another uh, video here this afternoon. Since we've kind of been busy over the summer, haven't really done anything, we've got another video on the cause box, which I don't really know what that is, but uh, stay tuned and check out that video to see what the cause box is. Thank you for watching our channel. Bye.